Ayana Koji has two faces, the brighter surface level facade he shows his classmates as a developing underachiever, and the much more realistic, darker, sociopathic side that he hides behind the mask who is still a prisoner of the white room. Ayana Koji's upbringing was one of solitude and isolation. The White Room was an environment where children were exposed to extreme learning conditions in order to facilitate development. For Ayana Koji, the passage of time was a sort of fiction to say the least. All he could remember were the white walls that surrounded him. He was kept under a watchful eye because he was remarkable by every standard. The motivation of the White Room was to create artificial geniuses, to prove that your genetics don't matter, but the environment one grows up in does. In other words, an experiment on the concept of nature versus nurture. By educating children from as early as an age as possible, they could become elite. It was extreme. They taught and trained kids to a postgraduate level in various subjects and other life skills. They exercised their physiques to the ultimate potential and practiced martial arts by fighting professionals and studying their habits. Now, as a result of this training, Ayana Koji acquired more knowledge than anyone could in their lifetime. He was more than a competent fighter, a rational strategist, and an excellent thinker, and he maintained his composure at all times. But because of its extreme immoral nature, the White Room was a brutal place to exist, and most kids did not survive. In Aina Koji's generation, everyone fell from the wayside. He was the demon who stood at the top. Everyone else cracked under the intense pressure Except Ayana Koji, who flawlessly hit every performance metric tested. He was an anomaly, the one true success of the White Room, labeled the perfect human. Except for one considerable flaw, and that's the fact that Ayana Koji lost his humanity in the process. He became an empty void, unable to express and understand emotion and communicate with others. Each and every one of his emotional faults is a derivative from his upbringing, showcasing a massive disconnect between the White Room and reality. Despite being a physical and mental beast, there are limits to what you can achieve with hard work and talent. Ayana Koji was a naturally talented person, but combined with rigorous training in the White Room, he became almost like a machine. Everything to him is superfluous data information. It's ironic, by trying to prove that nurture supersedes nature, they achieved the opposite. The White Room failed because they did not nurture development, they forced it. Aina Koji's warped mentality sought freedom. Nothing was exceptional. When you can see through everything and anyone, you lose sight of your purpose and yourself. In Aina Koji's words, Equality is just a fantasy. Most of us go through life denying the fact that we live in a meritocracy. Somewhere our process is growing up is like a microcosm of the white room. We slowly lose our value and we become more academic and merit oriented. That's why Ayana Koji experiences some emotional development in the Tokyo Advanced Nurturing High School because unlike the white room, this school, although depicted as a meritocracy, does nurture development. Everyone has something they are talented in, and focusing on those aspects makes them geniuses in their right. Being a genius at everything is nearly impossible, and we see this with Sudo and Ayana Koji. Sudo happily boasts that, at least in basketball, he's the genius. That's an area that Ayana Koji can't compete. Just like how he is inadequate at interacting with others, making friendships and connections like Hirata, Kushida, and Kei, or Ichinose, who can gain the trust of pretty much anyone. Ayana Koji does try to change in some way or another, but in his mind, he's still trapped in the mental prison of the White Room. He shares the demonic ties to his father, and the loose threads connected to his hand. 
And so, people inferred their qualities onto Aina Koji, and he masks them with the logical outcome that will suit them in the process. He wants to win, but by his own standards. He wants to be free, but by his own means. He doesn't really have emotional ties, maybe to K, but even then that falls short in many areas because of his manipulative personality. Aina Koji wants to be free, but he will always be trapped behind the invisible walls of the White Room, wearing a mask that's impossible to remove. 